As of November 26th, there have been 43 E. coli infections reported to the Center for Disease Control in the latest outbreak linked to romaine lettuce. Only one case has been reported in Connecticut so far, but 12 states in total have been affected. As soon as we are made aware of it, uh, any packaged romaine, the romaine hearts, the, uh, and the loose as well, and any salads containing any romaine in it were pulled off our shelves and discontinued. On November 20th, the CDC advised the public to throw out or return any and all salad greens containing romaine, and grocery stores and restaurants across the country removed it from their shelves and menus. It's something we're prepared for. You know, we, safety, the public safety is, is in the for, forefront of what we're doing. If, we're, if we get a notification that something is, is contaminated, we can get people sick, then we just immediately react. The exact source of the contaminated romaine has yet to be identified, but the CDC has narrowed it down to the central growing region of California. It's, it's difficult to uh, be able to pull the product, get credit on the product, and do the, uh, that end of it, but also it's, uh, it's difficult to inform the consumer and to try to be able to educate them on what is going on and, and what they're doing to uh, alleviate the problem. As a precaution, the CDC recommends that the public avoid romaine until the advisory is lifted. It makes me feel frustrated because I only eat romaine. I don't like anything else. I have peasant taste. Symptoms of an infection generally occur within two to eight days of consuming the contaminated romaine. If you experience any severe abdominal pain, diarrhea, or vomiting, contact your doctor right away. Well, I have one package left. It's a four pack, so I guess I have to throw it out as soon as I get home. That doesn't make me happy, but I will do it. For more up-to-date information on the outbreak, visit the CDC website at cdc.gov. Amanda Kenny, CCSU News.